Hello and welcome back to the official AE Racing YouTube channel. My name's Rob. And I'm Mike. And in today, you would but. <laughs> <laughs> and this is episode two of our AE Racing race car build. Roll logo. Alright, so in today's episode, we're going to go through some of the parts that we've been buying and all the money we've been spending. Uh, so some of these parts are what they call control parts, so they're parts that have to be specific for the series. So they all have to match, every person with the same cars got the same parts. Gives the racing even and fair. Yeah, and another goal of today is to try and get the suspension system just loosely bolted to the chassis so we can drop it down onto its wheels and then uh, line up the engine mounts uh, ready to obviously get it all bolted in. Yeah. Crack on, let's do it. All right, so uh, first part I'm gonna show you is the pedal box. Uh, prop pedal, brake, clutch. Comes with the uh, cylinders on the back as well. I've just thrown it loosely together for now. Um, just to basically show you this part, so this bit down here is a, is a brake bias. So it pivots inside there as you press the brake pedal. You can set it up so that it, you get more fluid going to the front brakes or to the rear brakes, which just helps with your set of your car, depending on the circuit you're on and, and how you want to do it. Uh, so they've also got the brake cylinders on the back, and these are also different sizes. So they're both the same size clutch and the front brake, and then you've got a smaller one for the rear brake. All right, so the other things we've got is four wheels and tires. Um, we are going to get them sprayed a different colour to suit the branding of our, uh, of our company, A Racing, obviously. And they, uh, they have to meet the race regulations, which is 13 inch diameter and six maximum of 6J width at the top. And they've got to be wrapped in AO48 tires. We bought these as a kit as well. Uh, these were from Kit Spares, which you can get quite a lot of parts for. Uh, transmission mount and engine mount. So as we mentioned earlier on, what we're going to try and do is, is get it roughly in shape. There's a bolt to the block of the engine, and then we've got to make a plate so the bottom part of that will bolt to the chassis. Okay, so the next part is this part, which uh, which might tells me is a exhaust manifold and uh, on the end of the exhaust manifold on this part here is where this little kitten is going to be slotted onto the end and uh, in this little hole here is going to be a sensor for the kitten to play with. Okay so more bits that we bought, uh, these come with a pack from the 750 kit spares they're all control parts again. Uh, fuel pressure regulator, fuel goes in one way, comes out the other, but at set pressure. It's just to make sure that everyone's keeping the same amount of fuel getting to the engine. This is a purpose made manifold, inlet manifold that they build for it. <coughs> Air goes in there through the throttle body, comes out of these little bits into each individual cylinder. And between that and the engine block is this, which is uh, a restrictor plate, so again, make sure that everyone's got the same amount of air going into the engine so it keeps the same power. All right, so we've also got uh, some little parts like this as well, which is a steering wheel hub adapter, so we can obviously take the steering wheel on and off nice and quickly, and also when we're sat in the car and the roll cage is all built up, it's going to be nice and snug in there, so we want to be able to quickly release it and then be able to jump out again. Alright, so the last thing is the gas gold coilovers. Uh, there's a couple of little bits of adjustment on them, but not too much. Keeps everyone doing the same thing again. Uh, much more you can say, we're really springy springy, bouncy bouncy. We're going to throw them on the car and start getting everything put together. Alright, 
so one one last thing that we didn't show you on the parts is this, which is the steering rack. This is from a Mark One Escort or Mark Two. I think you can have either or as part of the regulations. Uh, so these come through. You've got the steering arm, which is that, and then the, the track rod end. This will have a little nut on there that locks it in position. But you can adjust the position of these, which then adjusts where the wheels point forward, which is called toe in and toe out. And that has another effect on how the car handles. Uh, but we're going to get. We've got all these loosely sort of bolted together. We're going to do them all up. Then we'll put the wheels on so that when we bring the car down, it will sit at the right height. The special parts on here, they sort of help adjust the ride height of the cars to how high or low it sits off the ground. But we need to basically get it set so when we put the engine in, we know that the engine needs to be a minimum height off the ground as well, and the car itself. Uh, so we're going to crack on with that now. Okay, so we've got the suspension loosely bolted on with the wheels loosely bolted on and we're about to uh, drop her down and uh, let the tires touch the tarmac for the first time. Right. One small step for a racing and a giant leap for the Mazda Lock. As you can see, we half got the engine and the gearbox in. It's almost there. Nearly, it was this close. We uh, tried bigger hammers and everything. Yeah, but unfortunately we came across a couple of little issues. Where they, they've got the mounts in ready for the Ford Crossflow engine and gearbox. We ran out of cutting discs. <laughs> I didn't realise I'd need them so much, so I didn't have that many here. We ran out of cutting discs for the mounts that were originally there are getting in the way. I need to cut more out and then we can sort of shift it into the position it needs to be in. But this is as far as we can get at the moment. We tried the old technique of just smashing some stuff out of the way, as you can see on the, the plates down here. But we'll cut it all off and do it properly and get, give ourselves more space to get everything done, basically. Hopefully you've enjoyed seeing everything we've done this week, getting it down to a rolling chassis. Next week we'll add the engine back in properly with all the mounts and everything in place. Yeah, so make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and come back soon because the next video will be coming up thick and fast. Thanks for watching, see you next time.